What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and this is a quick video about a very useful app for the Odin 2 called Odin Tools. So the main highlight of this app is that it adds quick setting tiles so you can quickly toggle between your preference and I'll show you that as I go in, in the video. So firstly I'm going to go into settings and then scroll all the way to the bottom to Odin settings then scroll down to controller settings. So we have uh, L2 and R2 mode. So I'm just going to go in there and you can see you can toggle between these options and then controller style. I'm going to leave it on Odin, not disconnect. All right. So we're going to open a web browser and go to this link. I will leave a link in the description. Now at the time of making this video, this is the latest version and here are some of the new features. So quick setting tile for switching the controller style, basically toggling between the Odin and Xbox layout. Quick setting tile for switching the L2 and R2, so basically switching between analog and digital or both. And then a single press home button. I don't know why this wasn't a default option anyway, but yeah, you can basically press a home button once and it would take you to the home screen straight away. And the newest feature is display saturation settings which will apply immediately after you change the settings and reboot. Anyway, we're going to tap on releases, which will take us to the uh, APK. So under assets, you will find the app. So just tap on it and it will download really fast as it is a small app. Once it has finished, tap on open, then install. And you can, you know, open it now or later, but let's open it right now. And we're straight into these settings. And as you can see, single press home button, that option is already enabled. So let's just give that a test. And that worked straight away. So I'm going to disable it now. And here you can see the normal home button behavior, but I'm going to leave it on enabled. And the new setting, display saturation, it's not something I'm going to mess with, but it is there. But once you do it, save it and reboot it. And the you know, the L2R2 mode is there as well. But again, I'm not too fussed about that. I want to go to controller style. And I'm just going to uncheck disconnect. And then tap on save. And now we're going to get the um, quick setting tiles. So tap on the pen button to edit. And then scroll all the way to the bottom. And here we have the new tiles. But I'm just going to get the controller style as that's the only one I'm really uh, concerned with. So I'm going to drag it all the way to the top and I'll just leave it as the second option. And as you can see, by default, it is showing Odin. So what we're going to do next is uh, give it a test on one of the emulators. OK, so now we're using Yuzu emulator and we have the default Odin layout. As you can see, so the B button is the jump button. Now I'm going to get the uh, quick settings option and if I go up you can see Odin so I'm just going to tap on that once now it says Xbox now we have press B that doesn't do anything as the layout has changed as it should do and that's pretty much it very straightforward I'm a bit surprised this hasn't made it especially in the latest update and it has been made unofficially and thanks to the developer Langer Hands for making this and hopefully we see an official implementation very soon. What could be ideal is to have a per app setting. So for example, if you select Yuzu, then by default it should use the Nintendo or Odin layout. Otherwise, you know, you can select any other app to use the Xbox layout. But we'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, that does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.